All right, so last week we had the collapse of AlgoFi, which was a pretty big player in the Algorand space, a pretty big DeFi project. Some people mistook my video, especially the clip that I put out, mistook that for me saying Algorand itself was collapsing, which I did not. I mean, I very clearly had a picture of the AlgoFi logo, and I, I think I was really clear in my video, so that didn't happen. But there's a few more details about AlgoFi going under, and I do think it's a big deal. It's, it's pretty bad. It's a pretty big deal to have this size of a project collapse on Algorand. So more details, because there's a lot of questions out there about what's going on with AlgoFi. Now, especially the bank coin, now that it's closed down, let's take a look. Okay, this is from AlgoFi's Twitter account, and they put something similar in Discord, almost the exact same thing. So, and the, they apparently only allow certain people to, if you follow, if they follow you, you can you can reply, or if you're mentioned. I don't think they follow me, no, and I don't follow them either. Uh, following our announcement, declaring our intent to wind down operations of the AlgoFi protocol, we have received a lot of feedback from the community. We'd like to thank the users who have wished us well and we'd like to re reiterate our appreciation to our users. However, we have noticed that there have been some false rumors circulating around the AlgoFi protocol governance token. We'd like to take a moment now to clear the air. The team and the company associated with AlgoFi never engaged in token sales to the community apart from test transactions in development. The team and company have not... ...actions, all market... All market trading of the AlgoFi governance token has been done in a peer-to-peer -peer manner. For clarity, AlgoFi entered into SAFT agreements with institutional investors to fund the development of the protocol. These tokens were locked for a one-year duration. Recently referenced on-chain transactions correspond to a return of funds as part of wind-down operations. I actually didn't see that rumor, but that's interesting. I heard some other stuff, and we're going to show you some stuff at the end here that's really important. Uh, it is the company's understanding that no investor tokens were sold in accordance with lock obligations. I wonder what happens to those. That, you know, all these people must have got tokens for investing. It's like, well, what do you do with this now? We can look at the price of bank too. Uh, lastly, there's been talk of distributions made to AlgoFi from the Algorand Foundation in the amount of $4 million. And, you know, we talked about that. Uh, I think we talked about it on the last show, all the all the donations, how much grant money actually went out to all these different uh, places. Approximately 450K was used, uh, sorry, was received through grant and investment from the foundation and was used to fund development of the protocol. Uh, the remainder constitu constitutes the Aeneas program in which all incentives were distributed to users of the platform. We thank the Algorand Foundation for their support of the DeFi ecosystem. If you made it this far, thank you again for your support of our endeavors, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, they really believe in Algorand, blah, blah, blah. Maverick said, Stacy, taking Stacy Warden, who follows me, by the way. <laughs> I thought that was interesting. All of a sudden she was following me. I don't know where that came from. It says, can you please help the community understand more on the Aeneas program distribution of USD 3.5 million algo? During the recent events with Ripple indicating more favorable market, won't AlgoFi stick around to see how it plays out first? Wait for clarity on algo classification before shutting shop. Yeah, or how come, you know, none of these, none of these protocols have reached out to anybody to say, hey, anybody interested in buying us <laughs> and continuing to run this instead of, I just don't understand why none of this is ever put up for sale. Like usually when businesses shut down, they at least try to sell their properties. I'm like, why not? Is there rules that they can't? I'm just really curious. I don't really understand that. So I thought this thread was interesting. I just want to share this about AlgoFi. Uh, it said, hello, AlgoFam. I hate to add to the drama, but like many of you, I was quite surprised to see AlgoFi shut down. I greatly appreciate the protocol. However, not only was I surprised by the shutdown, but I was confused by the subsequent data I was seeing. From on-chain data, it looks like VC backers are sending their bank allocations to the blank wallet. I'm not going to read all that. The E7J wallet. And then shortly thereafter, receive USD from 2KK account. So he gives a bunch of examples. I'm going to take his word for it because I'm not going to be able to understand it. Each large deposit of bank was reimbursed with USDC at a rate of 0.1 cents USDC to bank. That is roughly 25 times more expensive than the market rate when AlgoFi announced it was shutting down. So they didn't really address this. They kind of talked about it a little bit, right? 
let me just back up here a second. They say that the team and the company associated with AlgoFi never engaged in token sales to the community. Okay, well, that's not it. For clarity, AlgoFi entered into SAFT agreements with institutional investors to fund the development of the project protocol. These tokens were locked for a one-year duration, which is, I think it's been more than a year, right? Recently referenced on-chain transactions correspond to return of funds as part of a wind. Yeah, so that's what they're talking about. So with the wind down, they're paying back the investors. So investors are getting paid back. Another $84 million was four mil, uh, another $84 million was deposited and presumably was compensated off-chain. These deposits came from the following transactions. These bank deposits were compensated at the same rate as the on-chain ones. Something between $1.1 and $1.2 million may have returned to institutional money. So yeah, this is what happens when a business winds down. Usually there's a, there's sort of a chain of investors and who gets paid first. And the rule is retail is always going to get less. So if you're an institutional investor, you know, you might have first position, second position, third position. So they're, they're making sure their investors get made whole and it sucks, but it is the way of the world. So people might think that the way of Crypto world works a little bit differently, but it really doesn't. So uh, great detective work on his part to to pull that out. Daniel Schmidt algo. Good for you. But also like not totally unexpected. It is interesting that they got it at such a different price, though, because they should have had to take the risk and they might have had some agreement. You know, it'd be interesting to see their actual investment agreement. Uh, what happened there? Be they may have had an agreement where they get paid out at a certain rate if AlgoFi were ever to shut down. And what if they had that much to pay out? It's like, well, why did they think they couldn't make it? That, that seems to imply that they had quite a runway if they could have that much to pay back. So I really don't know what's going on there. It's really kind of a mystery, but uh, I don't know if their explanation quite covers everything that happened that Daniel Schmidt.algo laid out. So good work for you. Good work laying that out. Uh, we're going to keep following AlgoFi because that, that is the, probably the biggest protocol to shut down on Algorand in the bear market. We've had plenty, definitely had a number of them, but that was probably the biggest one. So interesting.